Financial Rules In the context of a volunteering activity, the financial guidelines that directly concern the volunteer refer to the budget assigned to the project. When it comes to the following aspects, the international transport of the volunteer, the visa and visa-related costs, the pocket money, the food allowance, the local transport of the volunteer, the linguistic support. A volunteer, once involved in a volunteering activity, has all of the costs correlated with the above aspects covered, according to the project. A volunteer will not need to use his, her own money, with the exception of some specific cases, such as the following, as advance payment for international transport, which will be reimbursed later on by the hosting or the coordinating organization, as advance payment for visa and visa-related costs, which will be reimbursed later on by the hosting or the coordinating organization, if the international travel costs exceed the maximum allowed budget approved throughout the project. The difference is to be paid by the volunteer or by the supporting or the hosting organization. Nevertheless, in any of these cases the volunteer has to make sure to keep all the documents related to his, her travel, both in the form of proof of purchase, bank statement, invoice etc., as well as the boarding passes or tickets themselves. All these need to be provided to the organization so that they will be able to process the reimbursement. Then, throughout the project, every volunteer will receive a specific amount of pocket money per day. The exact amount is correlated with the average cost of living in the host country and will be mentioned in the project description, info kit, and of course in the volunteering agreement. If food is not provided by the organization directly, under the form of catering or a canteen subscription, for example, then the volunteers will also receive a set amount for each day, which they can use however they prefer, either for buying ingredients and cooking their own meals or for eating out. The amount depends on the local cost of living and is considered to be a food allowance. In order to receive all this money from the hosting organization, the volunteer will most likely need to open an account with a local bank, where the money will be transferred regularly. In specific circumstances, the volunteers might also receive cash payments, which they will need to sign for. The hosting organization can set aside an amount to cover any costs related to local transportation within the host town, either for tickets or for a monthly travel card, transit pass, if it is necessary for the activities and in case they do not provide an alternative means of transportation, bicycles, etc., for the volunteers. Finally, the linguistic support comes in the form of different types of support offered to the volunteer, either before departure, or during the volunteering activity which he, she will use during the project, with the purpose of improving their language abilities. The linguistic support budget is a fixed amount per volunteer, of 150 euros offered only for volunteering activities lasting 60 days or more, is limited to cross-border activities, and only for the languages which are not offered by the online linguistic support platform, according to the 2020 European Solidarity Corps Guide. In addition to all these, young people or volunteers with fewer opportunities can benefit of a supplementary budget that can support their involvement and engagement. This supplementary budget is entitled, Exceptional Costs, and can take the form of expenses for vaccinations, medical certificates, clothes items, passport issuance, if necessary, and other related costs, depending on the situation and mostly on the needs of the volunteers with fewer opportunities, all established beforehand.